Hello and welcome to Trinity School. I'm Lawrence Cohen, the headmaster. I'm going to try and take you on a brief tour of some of the key places in the school. When you arrive at the school, you come into these front entrance into what, through the listed gates. The school has been here, or some of the buildings have been here for over 150 years and this is the main entrance. So uh, follow me and we'll head up the driveway through the school ground. So if you come up uh, the driveway, you'll come to the main car park here where we'll have a safety of place so you can uh, park easily and you'll be outside the main buildings, the oldest buildings in the school. Uh, behind me, first corridor there is some of the boarding accommodation on the first floor and they look straight out over the sea and over the town, a really beautiful location. You've also got in the main building over to the right on the ground floor is the uh, cell, which is like an assembly hall. And then uh, unusually on the second floor, that's where our chapel is, which we attend in the senior department a couple of times a week. So here we are uh, outside the front of school, come up the driveway uh, and just a couple of things to look at. You can see we've got tennis courts, we've got an indoor tennis court, an outdoor tennis court. We have a tennis academy at the school with a pro that works on site where you can have group lessons or individual lessons or just play for leisure, especially if you're a boarder and want to play at the weekends uh, on the evenings with your uh, uh, peers. Uh, you can see in the hopefully uh, in the distance you can see the sea and actually where the sea is is where town is uh, and we're about a 10 minute walk from the centre of town and essentially the beach because the town and the beach are together. Uh, also in there is a really good train station that has excellent links not just locally but also direct lines to London. So uh, we're in a really beautiful location we've got fantastic grounds uh, fantastic views as well as being uh, local and being able to be convenient as well. Here we are on the main sports pitch used by senior and prep pupils uh, in these lovely summer months it's obviously used for things such as athletics and cricket and rounders and volleyball and basically getting outside and enjoying our beautiful location and some great green area within the school uh, and then during the other months we use it for rugby and football and part of the cross-country loop so really well used facility within the school. It's also in a fantastic location uh, looking out over the sea again and that is something that we use quite a lot. We try and make sure that we use our location not just within town but we often look at taking surf trips for boarders as well as sailing courses, uh, kayaking and going up to Dartmoor in the opposite direction which is only about half an hour away and a uh, area of natural beauty. So a key part of our curriculum is the creative side uh, and that is to make sure that students are curious and develop skills which they may or may not want to use at GCSE or A level but have a good grounding. So uh, we're in the DT workshop here where there's all sorts of things that go on during the term throughout Key Stage 3 and then at Key Stage 4 and at Key Stage 5. Uh, DT is divided into design technology and food technology at Key Stage 3 uh, so they do some of their time in here and some of the food technology room uh, learning about how to eat healthily essentially and cook their own meals. Um, lots that goes on in here you can see some of the work that's been done around me a great facility that is used by all year groups outside of the classroom and normal lessons as well in front of me we have our green car challenge uh, vehicle which is essentially a car built by students uh, run on a battery and the race is to see how far you can go in 90 minutes that's one of our clubs that's one of the offers outside and it really helps students develop both teamwork but also to solve problems. On a normal tour, if you were here, we'd pop into a number of classrooms so you could get a feel for the classrooms, but also to see how strong our pupil-teacher relationships are. Obviously, we can't do that at the moment, and rather than take you to every classroom, I've just brought you to an example. This is a history classroom. You can see some of the work here done by pupils. These are Mott and Bailey castles done in year seven. Um, but also, this will give you a bit of an idea. Interactive whiteboards, tables and chairs, most classrooms are similar to this but actually what makes it more impressive is the engaging and inspiring space that we create and staff take great pride in their classrooms so that when pupils are in they're not only learning from the teacher and from each other but from being in an environment that really helps them to learn, helps them feel confident and so by doing that make greater progress.
This is the art room, uh, which is at the top of the uh, Sutton building. Uh, it's a great, inspiring room. Uh, fantastic light coming in here, and students can really, really be creative. All of Key Stage 3 uh, obviously have art lessons, and then it's an option at Key Stage 4 for GCSE and for A-Level. We have some fantastic pieces of work coming out of this room, which are then displayed around the school. Uh, Key Stage 3 get the opportunity to try a whole different range of mediums and materials so they can really hone their talents and work out what's best for them and then when they get to GCSE and then perhaps onto A level they can really fine tune the areas that they like in particular and really concentrate on that. Results in this department in particular are fantastic uh, with work uh, often represented in local galleries as well as uh, local, um, regional and national competitions. So this is just to show you the top end of the school where there's another entrance for pupils to come in and out uh, but also where the more modern buildings are. So we've got a really great blend of the old traditional buildings which then morph into the newer buildings. In here you'll have the science department and the specific science labs and other teaching areas. Welcome to the school chapel, uh, one of the oldest rooms in the school. And we come in here with the senior department on a Tuesday and a Friday where we have faith-led services. Tuesday, a bit more of a reflective service. Friday is much more about celebrating people's success. We like to sing a hymn uh, because I think it's great to make a noise and get the blood pumping, as well as saying a short prayer and a moment of reflection. We also use this uh, for family services where we invite parents in, things such as Christingle and Harvest, where it has a really good community feel. In addition, boarders come in here on a Sunday evening uh, for an assembly, sometimes led by me, sometimes led by visiting preachers, uh, and they just have a moment of reflection just for them. This is their home, and this is to help them get set up for the week ahead. A really fantastic resource that we have, uh, an area that is full of peace and quiet, and this busy, busy world that we live in. It's great for our pupils to come together as a school and just have a moment at the start of the day just to get ready and get away from all the distractions. Here we are in the school library, a really fantastic resource. Uh, it's got a variety of uses. It's obviously got books which students can add, both reference books and reading books, different abilities catering to different tastes uh, and what people like to read. There's also DVDs and CDs that can be taken away, as well as puzzles that can be borrowed. There's always a puzzle on the go and at lunch times the library is open for any student to drop in and either change their books or just meet up with friends and have a bit of quiet time in here rather than being outside. It's also used for uh, lessons, so we have library reading lessons in here, especially for Key Stage 3, but for those doing GCSE and A Level also have full use of it. In the evenings, boarders use it as well, uh, and so a really well-used, well-resourced room that is a real benefit to the school. Here we are at the end of the tour. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the facilities and hearing about what goes on at the school. Um, obviously, it's missing pupils and it's missing teachers, and that actually really adds to the atmosphere of the school. If you would like to know more, please don't hesitate in getting in touch with us. The contact details will be at the end of this video, and if possible, it would be great to see you in person.